my dear friends welcome to rajashekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 73 in this lecture we will try to understand when to use measures of central tendency and skewness of the curve we have studied mean median and mode for grouped data and for ungrouped data now the question is when to use mean when to use median when to use mode we must know how to use when to use mean median and mode for example look at this data set if you observe carefully this data set this is left skewed data what is the reason reason is tail is on left hand side this is your tail this tail is on left hand side therefore it is left skewed data this is the case in which question paper is very easy on x axis let me take marks on y axis let me take frequencies then what then what's what happens there are more number of students who have got higher marks just see if i go along x axis from left to right here marks are increasing means here there are more marks this frequency this height is also very high what does it mean there are more number of students with the higher marks if you observe this curve carefully we can identify locations of these three measures of central tendencies as i discussed in my previous lectures your mode this peak one is always mode this is anyway on x axis i am taking marks on y axis frequency this one is mode this one is median this one is mean now we will try to understand one more case let us see another example where the question paper is very tough this is called right skewed data what is the reason why it is uh, right skewed data here what's happening since the question paper is very tough there are more number of students just just observe this one there are more this frequency this height is very high there are more number of students as this marks on x axis you are taking marks means with less marks isn't it now if you try to identify locations of these measures of central tendencies anyway peak one highest one is always this is mode this is median this is mean isn't it now if you observe carefully in these two cases which cases in the left skewed case or right skewed case median is always in the middle middle position means i can say like this look at the location of the median whether the data is a left skewed or right skewed median is always in middle means the location of the median is in the middle there may be another case what is that another case in another case means the curve may be symmetric curve may have bell shape like this curve may have bell shape in that in, in this in that case if your data is following bell shaped curve then you can use mean median or mode as measures of central ten tendency it is simple technique the clue for choosing the correct central tendency is first you have to plot that data and you you should fit the curve or you must plot the curve you have to plot the data after plotting the data you have to get an idea of idea of skewness idea of skewness means whether it is left skewed whether it is right skewed whether it is left skewed like this whether it is right skewed or whether it is symmetric once if you understand 
distribution of the data or if you understand skewness of the data now choosing measures of central tendency is straightforward why because if it is as i as i told you if it is skewed data means we can choose median as central tendency skewed data means what whether it is right skewed whether it is left skewed you can choose median as measure of central tendency if it is bell shaped curve then you can go for mean or median or mode as a central tendency in my next lecture what i will do i will work with two types of data sets these two types of data sets are are downloaded from kaggle first one is height weight body mass data set and second one is stock market stock market related data set what is this stock market related data set i can say this is time series data set we will try to understand skewness on these two types of data sets with appropriate examples we will we will see different cases thank you very much